Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Since its release in 1996, Pokemon has become one of the most loved video game series in the world. And with over 1,800 different Pokemon, it's hard to keep up with all of them. Today we have gathered a list of Pokemon that you can catch in real life, so stick around as we count down some of the most interesting Pokemon and their real-life inspiration. Number 10. Gyarados Kicking off our list, we have the dual-type Pokemon Gyarados. Gyarados, which is a water and flying type, was featured in both the video game and the anime. In the anime and manga, it evolves from the Magikarp. Gyarados is based on the long-nosed lancetfish, which is typically found in the ocean. Lancetfish are known for being cannibals after multiple fishes were being caught notoriously devouring other lancetfish, hence the nickname Cannibal Fish. Lancetfish have a very unique appearance, with fanged jaws and massive eyes. Their slithery body can reach up to 7 feet in length, which is why they are considered as one of the largest fish species. They mainly live in deep water oceans and possess traits that baffle scientists. For instance, their development and reproduction are still a complete mystery, and very little is known about them. And if you're wondering if they're edible, well, they are. Their flesh is said to be very gelatinous, watery, and has a sweet taste to it. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, Vileplume. Coming up next at number nine is Vileplume. Vileplume with its large flower petals evolves from gloom when it's exposed to a leaf stone. To spread its toxic pollen, the poisonous Pokemon flaps its petals to create clouds of the pollen, triggering allergic reactions. The inspiration for Vileplume's design was the second largest flower on Earth, the Rafflesia arnaldi. It has a very distinct and unpleasant smell of rotten flesh, and for this reason, it's commonly known as stinking corpse lily, or corpse flower. The stench that it emits is a mechanism to attract insects for pollination, and after releasing it, it withers within just a week. As for its height, it can reach up to 7 feet and can weigh up to 7 kilograms. Number 8. Crocodile. Perhaps one of the strangest looking animals on our list, the Gariel Crocodile was the inspiration for the Crocodile. Crocodile made its first appearance during a battle against Dragonite. It's said that crocodiles are so strong that not even an automobile can withstand their powerful jaws. Once they catch a prey, they violently clamp down on it before ripping it in half. The Garial crocodiles are native to the northern Indian subcontinent and almost went extinct by the 1980s. But as of right now, their population is starting to slowly recover. They are one of the longest crocodiles, reaching up to 19 feet in length. They have 110 interlocking teeth that they use for hunting down prey. Thankfully, humans aren't on the menu of Garial crocodiles. Their jaws aren't built for large animals and humans. However, there are rare occurrences where Gariel crocodiles attacked humans. They prefer to hunt fish underwater using their long and narrow snout. Number 7. Sand Slash Moving on to number 7, we have the ground-type Pokémon Sand Slash. Nicknamed as the Mouse Pokémon, Sand Slash earned its name for a reason. Whenever it feels threatened or in danger, it curls up into a spiny ball and rolls around at an incredible speed, creating a massive sandstorm. Its spikes and claws can snap off while slashing its enemies. However, they can grow back in a day. Sand Slash is based on the scaly anteater pangolins. They're the only animals in the world that have keratinized scales that cover their skin for protection purposes. Pangolins have the same defense mechanism as Sand Slash, they curl up into a defensive ball to protect themselves against enemies. Found in tropical forests in Asia and parts of Africa, pangolins are critically on the verge of extinction. They continuously face the threat of poaching and being sold at illegal markets to be used in folk medicine and for meat consumption. Number 6. Victrebel 
At number six on our list is Victreeble, a grass poison Pokemon. Don't get fooled by the fact that it's a plant. Victreeble lures its prey with a honey-like aroma that gets sweeter after dissolving its prey, attracting even more prey. It can digest even the hardest of objects as if they were nothing. Victreeble holds an uncanny resemblance to the real-life plant Pitcher Plant. It's a carnivorous plant that has modified leaves in the shape of a pitcher, hence its name. The pitcher-like vessel produces a syrupy secretion with a sweet scent that attracts flies and insects. The plant then dissolves and absorbs them as nutrition. And not only can it catch insects, but also small birds and rodents. Number 5. Caterpie Caterpie, which is a bug-type Pokémon, is at number 5 on our list. More commonly known as the Worm Pokémon, Caterpie is a small bug that evolves into Metapod and Butterfree. Its feet have small suction pads at the bottom, enabling it to stick onto walls and surfaces easily. To protect itself, Caterpie emits a horrible stench from its antennas to repel any predator. Caterpie is based on the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar, which belongs to the group of Swallowtail Butterflies. Native to North America, they can be found in swamps, gardens, and forests. The markings and colors on its body are there to mimic bird droppings, protecting it from any predators by camouflaging the caterpillar. Its antennas, located on the first segment of the thorax, release nasty-smelling organic compounds to drive away predators. Number 4. Drowsy Coming up at number 4 is Drowsy. The psychic-type Pokémon is very skilled at hypnosis. It can put its enemies to sleep, then eats their dreams. It can remember all the dreams it has eaten, good or bad, and can get sick from eating bad dreams. Drowsy enjoys eating good dreams as it finds them delicious, and it can be found near children to eat their dreams. Drowsy's appearance was inspired by tapirs, which are dubbed the most primitive mammals in the world. There are mainly five species of tapirs scattered in South and Central America and Asia. They have a distinct-looking snout that can be as flexible as an elephant's trunk. Their bodies are round with short legs, and they can weigh up to 800 pounds. Tapirs are herbivores, depending on fruits and leaves for nutrition. Number 3. Pidgey Inspired by the cedar waxwing bird, we have Pidgey in third place. The tiny bird is commonly found in the woods, hiding in tall grass to avoid any contact with other Pokémon. Pidgey is very docile, and would rather avoid conflict than to fight other Pokémon. But if it were put into a position where it felt threatened, Pidgey would flap its wings to create a blinding dust cloud to protect itself. As for its real-life inspiration, the Cedar Waxwing is a medium-sized bird with wax-like wingtips. Its color pattern is very unique, with an outlined face and yellow waxy tips. It can survive solely on eating fruits, and if it eats a large number of berries, its tips can turn into an orange. Cedar waxwings can become intoxicated if they eat fermented, overripe berries. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Rashiram this is an image of the legendary Pokémon Reshiram. In the Pokémon series, it is a huge dragon, but you'd be surprised to know that this Pokémon is actually based on a small insect from Venezuela, known as the Venezuelan Poodle Moth. This fuzzy creature is equal parts adorable and puzzling, making you question the line between reality and science fiction. It is a new species of moth that was discovered in 2009, and right after its discovery, it was used as a character in Pokémon. Both have similar features, for example the spectacular wings and the wide fluffy fur they have on their bodies. This comparison is fitting because the moth itself is believed to be rectifying, much like the Reshiram in Pokémon. Number 1. Mudkip Last but not least, coming up on the first place in our list today is Mudkip, based on Axolotl. Mudkip is a water-type Pokémon with very sensitive radar that can detect movement of air and water without the need to use its eyes. The gills on its cheek are extremely powerful, 
When Mudkip is faced with a threat, it breathes into the gills which can crush rocks. And even though Mudkips are very small in size, they can lift large rocks a lot bigger than their size with no effort. Mudkip's appearance resembles that of the axolotl, or Mexican walking fish. Axolotls are found in freshwater lakes in Mexico and are another species that is on the verge of extinction. Their population is declining due to pollution and urbanization. They have the ability to regenerate body parts up to five times, including lungs and hearts, if they suffer any injuries. During reproduction, axolotls have a dance ritual that they do before mating. After mating, the female can lay up to 1,000 eggs on rocks or plants to hide them from any potential predator. They're one of the few species that are highly resistant to cancer, and researchers are hoping to one day find out the reason behind that. That is our list of 10 Pokemon you can catch in real life. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and as always, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel.